Hey, what's up, y'all? Joey here with Cashflow with Joe and Focus Property Solutions, and I'm gonna do something a little gutsy. I'm over at a rental property that we just got back, and I haven't even been inside of it. And you oftentimes hear horror stories of landlords getting property back that's just demolished on the inside. Well, I'm gonna take y'all inside, take a look at this property, and see how we get it back. So, y'all come on with me, let's go take a look. It's locked, so let me get it unlocked real quick. All right, so here we go. Huh. It smells nice in here. So, something you ought to be noticing is this house is clean. And it looks just as good. That, by the way, is not dirt. That is a shadow. It looks just as good as the day we rented the house. So we've got hardware floors. Hey, you know somewhere's a good place to go look. Let's go inspect the bathroom. Let's check out a bathroom as we're walking through this house. They even left toilet paper. How do you like them apples? Y'all, I, I can't convey what... Uh, how nice it smells in the house, but the house has been clean. Matter of fact, you can see right there, they've came through and shined up the floors for us. Nice. So, no horror story here, but this is how we normally get our houses back. Matter of fact, I take pride in just how good we get our houses back. We're not gonna to have to do any touch up paint here. We don't have to do any floor coverings here because we did solid state flooring. This is LVT in this house. Everything in here looks great. So how do you get to be able to do that? The very biggest thing that I can tell you about that is you have to do part of the application process that I do called an in-home inspection. So most of the time, whenever you learn about becoming a landlord, you know you've got to get an application out there. You might want to do a credit check. You might want to do a background check. All those things are important about how they're going to pay for the property, but there's really four jobs for a tenant. The first job is take care, maintain, and improve the property. The second is pay on time. Notice taking care of the property is before pay on time. Third is be a good neighbor. Fourth is be good to work with. We spend a whole lot of time sifting through people, trying to find people that will pay on time. And sometimes I think landlords forget we need to look at somebody that can take care of the property. If you go and schedule an in-home interview with an applicant that you think that looks good on paper, you get to learn a couple of things. One, you get to see how they treat their house. Because however they treat their house is how they're gonna treat your house and it's gonna take about two months to get to whatever condition their current house is, your house will look like in about two months. The other thing you get to see is, do they have a chihuahua listed on the application, but you get out there and you see horse hockey out there that looks like if the, the chihuahua could ride on it. You can tell if they got a bigger dog than what they said they do. The other thing that's gonna happen is, people can't hide nasty. So if you go over and you go to inspect the house and they're there and you're sitting there talking and they've already cleaned up, there are things that you can notice whether or not they're dirty people or not. One thing that's very good to go look at is go look at the air conditioning return. If you go look at the air conditioning return and it's growing a beard because they don't ever dust, those are nasty people. Those are people that are not gonna take care of your equipment and those are people that are going to cost you a lot in the long run because your AC is gonna run out. Those aren't the kind of people that you want. But I would have to say, getting great tenants, one of the biggest things that you can do is go do an in-home inspection. If you don't believe me, these results speak for themselves. We're gonna do nothing on this house. Oh, I say nothing. It rained a lot in Calhoun, so, or it rained the other night. The grass has gotten grown up, so we're gonna have to get the grass cut. But past that, this house is going right on market. We're gonna have zero turnaround. We're already getting calls like crazy on it and it's gonna be good to go. So spend a whole lot of time making sure they can pay. Spend a lot of time making sure they can take care of the property because having damage to your property will cost more than just having to go and do an eviction. I guarantee you. So spend time doing the in-home inspection and you'll be glad you did. Y'all have a great day.